Tonight, state lawmakers are adding new restrictions for drag performers. Current law points to location limits, saying adult oriented establishments or cabarets shall not locate within 1000 feet of a school park or church. The state defines adult cabaret to include male and female impersonators, but the current law is not clear on whether this applies to the performers themselves or businesses hosting them. For months now, reporter Caitlin Keenahan has been looking into why now, who sparked this change, and the impact changes will have on state law. Laws around adult cabarets are not new. Current Tennessee law limits where adult establishments can locate, but now it could also limit where performers can go. If you don't want to watch a drag show, you don't have to. If you don't want your kids to watch a drag show, you don't have to let them. Drag performers like Demetria Christ think new legislation specifically targets the drag community. It just simply says that you can't do or have sexually explicit adult-themed entertainment in two specific places. One is in, on public property, and then the other is in a private venue where kids are present. Senate Majority Leader Jack Johnson of Franklin, Tennessee, pioneered this bill. It's divided parties. On the first day, what is the bill that you think is so important for Tennesseans that you're going to bring it out there? Well, shock of all shocks, it's a bill about drag shows, really? Democratic State Representative Gloria Johnson was not happy to see it. I, I don't see how that's harmful to children. She even requested to be noted as voting no in the Criminal Justice Committee. I mean, that is outrageous. The conversation around all age drag shows took off nationwide about five months ago. States like Florida, Arizona, and Texas tried to crack down. Critics of these shows say they're not suitable for children. It doesn't matter if you're dressed in drag or if you're not dressed in drag, it's, it doesn't matter. We just shouldn't allow uh, sexually explicit, sexually graphic entertainment in public parks in front of a playground where kids are playing. A local example of what Johnson is talking about is the all-age drag me to nature event at Iams Nature Center. According to Joshua Ricker, the event organizer, it was scheduled in November. Our mission was to bring magical creatures to Iams through performance art and ensuring it is a safe and fun event for everyone of all ages to enjoy. There's strict dress code policy set in place for the performers before they are even casted. Some people protested to get it canceled. They just really take anything that they can and twist it and make it into things that it's not. But Senator Johnson says events like the one proposed to I am would not have been a problem. So that means things like drag story time that are not sexual in nature, those could still happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. If, if someone wants to have a drag show, that is totally fine. My legislation doesn't do anything to change that. It's just while you're having your drag show, you can't simulate sex acts. Tom Lee, an attorney for the Tennessee Pride Chamber, says the legislation as written leaves too much open for personal bias. Now, prosecutors have the right to choose uh, who and when they will prosecute a crime. But when the underlying bill itself is so confusing, then that's when the courts tend to get involved. The political stage is not the stage drag performers want to be on. We're not trying to shove what we do in anyone's face. Demetria has been doing drag for decades. She's experienced judgment, but says this is a whole new level. To tell everybody, no, you can't do this. You can't let your kids do this. You can't, you can't parent your kid in this way. It's just, wow, like, it's so controlling. Senator Johnson says his intent is not to control the performers, it is to control the place. So we just don't want any kind of sexually explicit entertainment taking place in front of kids. If this bill passes, drag performers could get a misdemeanor on first offense or a class E felony on the second. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. The bill heads back to the Senate for a procedural vote before going to the governor. Despite vocal opposition, people on both sides of that issue expect the drag show changes will become law.